Hey y'all, how y'all doing out there? This is Easy Work Boxing. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. How y'all doing out there, man? Gotta let y'all know this is Easy Work Boxing 2, the new channel. I gotta put some content to start this channel off. This channel here is strictly for boxing only. Uh, I am gonna put this video up on my old channel too. I'm still trying to move that channel too. So y'all stay tuned, support, uh, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, most of all, to both channels if you're new to it. Okay, uh, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Well, before I say this, much respect to Gary Russell Jr. I think he's a stand-up guy. You know what I'm saying? This is no bias talk, no racism. I don't do that. You know, I give it to you straight cut about boxing, a sport that I love. Gary Russell Jr. Supposed to be fighting Mark Mixayo, uh, I think on the end of this month, the 29th. Gary Russell Jr., you know, has a lot of layoffs. I'm going to defend his title with five times out the past with Six times out of the past five years that he's reigned as champion. Take nothing away from him. We all know Gary Russell Jr. as the man with the fast hands, you know, skills, you know, uh, seals, I mean, a good skill set, you know. Uh, but coming out right now, you know, going but before he heads to his fight with Mark, he has told the public, you know, one thing, that his father is not able to train him. You know, his father just let it, had his leg amputated, you know, uh, for whatever reason, I, uh, I can uh, hope that his father gets well very soon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, his father has been training him throughout his amateur and uh, professional life. Uh, I know that's probably a situation for him. I made a video about that. You know, it's hard to see your father, man, that you look at as Superman, you know, eventually, you know, breaking down as life continues. That's a situation that could also be on his mind, you know, going into this fight, you know, uh, I'm sure every man that has a father out there, you know, it's, it's very hard to, you know, see that happening. But, you know, um, Gary is going through that right now. And he's going to have to fight Mark Magsayo, you know, going through this process. Also, he has came to the public and told the public that, you know, he has a slight injury. Now, anybody who like my channel, been watching my channel for a minute, I've been screaming this for the longest. Why don't boxers come out and tell the public that, hey, I got an injury? I got an injury. Uh, you know, that way it can help people who are bidding. People won't lose houses, car homes, car note money, or $150, $200. If they know the odds are stacked against the opponent, they're going to go and bet on. So, for one, let me say this. I commend Gary for that. Because a lot of these fighters go into fights with their ribs injured, their hands broken, and you done bet your house note money, your car note money, your your weekend money on a fighter, and he ain't told you nothing about he injured or nothing. So, Gary Ross Jr., I'm, I'm going to clap for that for you. I'm going to give you that. Thank you for that. Thank you. But I'm looking at this like it's an excuse because I believe, and like I said in my video on my channel, Easy Work Boxing, uh, that Mark is going to beat J Gary Ross Jr. I know um, Gary has experience. He's sharp. Well, I ain't going to say he's sharp. He, he had a layoff for a good little minute. But, you know, he has the skills to pay the bills, fast-handed, you know, um, experience, experience. He's seasoned. But I think this guy this guy fight like Manny Pacquiao, orthodox Manny Pacquiao. He over there with Freddie Roach. And I'm going to be real with y'all in my opinion. Ain't no telling what this boy on under Manny Pacquiao promotions. This may be a reincarnation of Manny Pacquiao. No hate towards the kid. Mark, this ain't about you. There ain't no disrespect. I'm just assuming. You know what I'm saying? This is just my opinion. He may not. But that boy fast as hell, punch hard as hell. And you know what I'm saying? That boy's something to deal with. And I think he gonna beat Gary Russell Jr. But is this an excuse, though? I think this is an excuse. I think this is Gary Russell Jr. Probably thinking nine times a ten he ain't gonna make it out this fight. Especially saying since his dad wasn't trained him, he brought that out first. And now he coming out and saying that he's injured. Could this be an excuse? I think it's an excuse. I think that just in case he go out there and he get molly walk, you know what I'm saying? He get he get out, he get his ass. I mean, he, you know he, you know what I'm saying. If something happened to him out there, he already didn't say, "Hey, I had an injury and that's why I lost." So I would, like I said, I commend him on coming out and telling the public because it's people who gonna bet on. Him. But at the same time, it look it's looking like an excuse to me. It's looking like a real excuse. Is it, I'm talking about uh, unless. Why didn't you tell them on the zone what injury you had? You, Gary Russell Jr. was on the zone broadcast or something saying that he has a slight injury, but he won't tell it until after the fight. No, tell it now. Because, see, after the fight, whatever punch you weren't good with or whatever you couldn't do, you could say your leg was injured. 
Or you could say, if you want, if you couldn't land a, a straight jab on you, say your jab was injured. If you couldn't land a straight left arm, you could say your left arm was injured. No, let us know now so we can really say, okay, then that showed up in the fight. Don't just tell us you're injured and then next thing you know, we don't see nothing wrong with you in the fight. Then you say, oh, my, my hand was hurt. Oh, my, my elbow was hurt. Oh, my rib was hurt. My left leg was hurt. That ain't gonna work, Gary. See, that, that's what making me think you come across and you ain't telling us the truth, Gary. I like you, Gary. You're a hell of a fighter. Uh, like I said, it was gonna take levels to beat this dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This dude ain't easy. A lot of people counting this boy out. Talking about what he went through with a former 122 pounder. That ain't got nothing to do with on championship. I'm t it's time for me to get my title. I've been boxing for years. Fight. That ain't got nothing to do with it. And this dude punches hard, he's fast, he's two inches tall than Gary. Uh, reach advantage over Gary. It was hard for Gary to hit King Tut, and King Tut had a two inch reach. Uh, I think they had a two inch, no, I think Mar has a, a four inch reach advantage over Gary. King Tut had a two, and Gary was missing shots. So Gary gonna have to get up close and try to do some damage to this boy. And if he can't, it's gonna be some damage done to Gary. Shout out to Gary Russell Jr. and the Jr. Fam Gary Russell family. I hope your father gets well soon. Respect to you all. No bias talk, no racism. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Support the channel, share the videos. It's easy work boxing, y'all. Real deal boxing talk. No bias talk, no racism, just pure boxing. Thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to both channels. If y'all see this video up on two channels, I'm letting y'all know, come to, come to Easy Work Boxing too. That's the new boxing channel. That's strictly just for boxing. It's Easy Work Boxing, man. Thank y'all for y'all love. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned for more videos. It's Easy Work, I'm out.